Are you having a tough time with upgrades or connecting with others in Genshin Impact's co-op mode? For example, struggling to farm enough materials to level up your characters or weapon? Need more fees to snag that special weapon or achievement? Just unlock co-op but feeling clueless about approaching other players? Or maybe you're scared and hesitant to join co-op because of its bad reputation? No worries, we've got you covered. Chagem is here. In this video, I'm on a mission to bring harmony back to the world of co-op gaming. We're going to explore how you can farm in another player's world with a 100% success rate while being a respectful and considerate gamer, even if you struggle with empathy or reading social cues. I beg you to share this video with others so that they can learn too. Before we dive in, let me share a story about my friends and me. We used to love opening our worlds to other players, but we soon realized that many gamers didn't have the best manners or were ungrateful, which led to antisocial behavior. Some players would sneakily steal materials only to be kicked out of the world once discovered. This frustrating experience taught us that being upfront and respectful is crucial to establishing trust and maintaining a welcoming gaming environment. This also made us limit our interaction to our inner circle. However, I still wanted to help people, especially those who might struggle with empathy or understanding social cues. So, I decided to create this video to guide you on the human way to interact in co-op gaming. Let's dive in and level up together. Okay. Once you've unlocked the online co-op feature, you can start joining other players' worlds. Remember to send requests one at a time, patiently waiting for a kind-hearted player to accept your invite. Don't spam requests all at oh. once because it can create confusion. We've all experienced that awkward moment when we accept an invite, but the person never shows up, leaving us hanging and feeling a bit weird. Let's avoid that and make our co-op experience smooth and enjoyable for everyone. When joining someone else's world, always remember to bring your manners and your appetite for adventure. It's like going to a fancy dinner party. You want to be on your best behavior and ready to have a good time. Co-op mode is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. But with these tips, you can ensure you get the best flavors. Now, let's explore three steps that will help you gain trust and build positive relationships in co-op even if you find it challenging to relate to others. Greet and communicate. Start by saying hi or hello. It's essential to communicate your intentions and ask the host for permission before taking any materials or resources from their world. For example, say, hi, I'm Chagim. I'd like to have some enter your special region materials here for my enter your character here, please. So it's like, hi, I'm Chagem. I'd like to have some violet grass for my baizu, please. This simple act of communication is crucial to set the right expectation and make others feel comfortable. If you don't speak English, use Google Translate to prepare these phrases beforehand. So, you're ready when you join a co-op session. It's also helpful to mention, I don't speak English, sorry, as it lets others know about the language barrier. By taking these steps, you'll create a more positive co-op experience for everyone involved. Show gratitude and offer help. Always thank the host like saying, thank you, you are so kind. To go above and beyond at let me know if I can help you with anything. This shows that you're not just focused on your own needs, but are also willing to assist the host. If you struggle with empathy, practicing these phrases can help you relate better to others and learn to understand their feelings. In co-op mode, it's important to remember that we are all in the same boat. It's like a fishing trip. We may not catch everything we want, but we can still enjoy the ride. Oh, if you found this video helpful so far, please share it with your friends and fellow gamers. Let's spread the word and make co-op gaming a more positive and inclusive experience for everyone. Okay, next! Be efficient and check in. Farm quickly, but don't forget to communicate with the host. 
After about 10 minutes, it's a good idea to ask, Should I leave now? Or is there anything I can help you with? This way, the host can share their plans and maybe even ask for your help with other tasks. Additional tips for empathy and social cues If you're feeling lost in co-op mode, don't worry, you're not alone. We have all been there. Just remember, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. And when co-op gives you a strangers, make new friends. Yay! If you find it challenging to read social cues or understand others' emotions, here are some extra tips. Pay attention to the host's responses. If they seem hesitant or unsure, it's best to clarify your intentions and reassure them that you are there to cooperate. For example, if the host appears doubtful about your request, you can say, I understand if you're not comfortable with me taking resources. I am happy to help out with a task in return. Or, if you prefer, I will leave your word. Being proactive in addressing their concerns will go a long way in building trust. Look for any signs of discomfort or agitation, such as frequent pausing, sudden silence, or even typing out messages that seem tense or annoying. If you notice this, consider offering help or asking if they're okay. You can say, Hey, I noticed you've been quiet for a while. Is everything alright? Let me know if you need any help or if something's bothering you. This displays your concern for their well-being and your willingness to address any issues that may arise. Use emojis or in-game gestures to show that you're friendly and approachable. A simple smiley face or thumbs up can go a long way in building rapport and making others feel at easy. For instance, you could use a smiley face when asking for resources. Hi, can I please farm some violet grass? Smile. Additionally, in-game gestures like waving or bowing can demonstrate your friendliness and show respect to the host. These non-verbal cues can significantly enhance your communication, especially if you struggle with empathy or understanding social cues. Job time! Why did the gamer invite his friends over to his world? Because he needed to level up his social skills. <laughs> Alright, so maybe your requests aren't getting accepted. Or perhaps you've joined a world only to face objections to your farming requests. It's essential to understand that co-op's reputation has taken a hit and not as many players are open to accepting strangers anymore. But don't worry, there is another strategy to try. Did you know that you can send friend requests to strangers in Genshin? Once your request is accepted, send the host a message like this. Hey, thanks for accepting my friend request. Smile. I was wondering if you could do me a favor and open your vault for me. I really need these materials for Baizu. More often than not, people who accept your friend request will appreciate your polite approach and be happy to help you out, granting you access to their world and possibly even teaming up for future adventures. Joining someone else's world is like being a guest in their home. You want to be on your best behavior and bring a gift like a good attitude and a sense of adventure. If the previous methods don't work, don't worry. There is a third step you can try to ensure a 100% success rate when farming in other players' world. Change your in-game signature to ask for help for other players like, Please, I need violet grass from your world. There are some high-level players out there who enjoy helping others and may see your requests. This kind of players might send you a friend request to offer their assistance or even join your world to invite you to farm in theirs. This is your last resort to guarantee success in co-op farming. If none of these methods work, it might be time to face the unfortunate reality that co-op mode may be beyond saving. In this case, you might have to create another Genshin account to access materials for your main account. As you experience the challenges of gaining trust in co-op again, learn to forgive and let go of any grudges or negative feelings. 
Remember, we cannot change others unless we start with ourselves. Begin by being the best host you can be to strangers seeking help. Small acts of kindness can create a significant impact on others. So pay it forward. Watch the movie Pay It Forward to see how it changed my life long ago. I hope my video helps you reach a 100% success rate for farming in other players' worlds. These methods have worked for me time and time again. Let's also hope this video can thaw the frozen hearts of those who have closed themselves off to strangers in co-op due to past hurts. Forgiveness is the path to true freedom. Let it go and be the chains the world needs. Co-op mode is like a recipe. It takes the right ingredients and a little bit of patience to get it right. But with these tips, you'll be cooking up some great rewards in no time. Remember, our actions in the gaming world can have a significant impact on others. Let's be the change we wish to see and make the world a more harmonious place by treating others with kindness and respect. We cannot change others if we don't start with ourselves. So let's be the best host to those who ask for our help, even if we struggle with empathy. That's it for today. Reach a 100% success rate for farming in other players' world and encourages you to be a compassionate and understanding gamer. These methods have worked for me time and time again. Please share this video so that they can learn this skill too. As always, happy co-op gaming. Enjoy the journey. Until next time. Merci. Ciao. Say it together with me. Ah, relax.